and welcome to Snowboarding in the Middle of Summer, also known as Carve Snowboarding. Shuhei Labs was kind enough to give me a key for the game so I could make a review video of it and have it come out when the embargo lifts, which is right now, if you are watching this. It is now available in the store for purchase. So, when you first open it, you are presented with a couple options of it, it, do you get motion sickness and are you going to be playing seated or standing? Um, answering those sets, sets up sets the comfort options for you automatically, but if you want to come in and just manually double check things anyways, right here in settings, play configuration. As you can see, I am standing, and I have shoving net off. Uh, full edge control is something that um, lets you calibrate the default tilt angle of the board. So it's basically advanced mode. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing the default mode. So the triggers let you spin the board. The grip buttons that you grab the board, they will grab at the point that your hand is nearest to on the board. You jump by just raising your hands up in the air like that. The higher you raise them, the higher you jump. So just a little jump does that, all the way up does that. So A and X, the the, the tilt angle, which I'm not doing. So. All right, there are the controls. Audio settings are basic. You can choose music and radio volume, sound effect volume. Okay, so you can select the language, look at the credits, and play the game. Now, once you go through the tutorial, you end up here in your cabin. Um, and you have the menu here, which lets you select the, the mm -hmm. chorus, choose which mode you are doing it in, if you're doing a time attack or freestyle, and lets you see global rankings and friend rankings. Um, you can keep track of the medals you're on here and what the milestones are for the medals. As you can tell, I've done a few of these already. Um, I have not gotten this one yet. I technically got that one, but um, yeah. So um, I'm going back to time attack so I can show you what that looks like. But first, a quick tour around the cabin. Over here, I have my dog. I'm going to call him Bilbo because that is the name of a golden retriever that my dad used to have um, until he sadly passed. So, hi boy, how you doing? Yeah. So, when you pet him, you, you get an, an achievement. You've also got this that shoots out ping pongs. Um, I would like it if um at some point in the future the developer has made it so when you shot the, the ping pong balls the the dog went up to chase them but right now he doesn't so stove snow globe that worked a lava lamp Reminder of your board, nose, tail, front heel, front toe, for regular stance, the goofy stance is reversed, obviously, left to right, here's the radio, uh, here are my tapes, so some of those are ones that I have unlocked on the course, here's another radio, here's the fireplace, ah, nice to come in here and relax with your ski gloves on in front of the fireplace. So you can toss another log on the fire if you want. You can reach in and pull it out if you want. Here's where you can customize 
your gloves. Uh, the default gloves are these ones. Um, all the others are unlocked as you go along. Here's where you can look at and manage your boards. Uh, you you interact with that with the grip button, and then you can cycle through by just physically touching those buttons. If you want to inspect board, you can reach out and grab it. If you want to select it to equip it, use your trigger button. So, and then when you are ready, come back over here, play course. Now, the, even though this is technically it's a single player game, it does have a race option that works kind of like in the climb. You can race a ghost of another player. Um, so I'm going to click race my gamer tag, even though I already beat him, um, just to show you what that looks like. So, click play course, and you get a, a select which board you want. Um, I want to go back to no, not that one. Yeah, that one's okay. You know what? And I'll go with this one. Yeah, I'll go with Wave Boy. And it detects which stance you are based on where your hands are. If your left hand's in front, it's regular stance. Right hand in front is going to detect it as a goofy stance. Um because it obviously can't detect your feet. Um, you control the board by moving your hands. Your, you don't need to press any buttons, just move them. Your left hand controls the front of the board, unless you are in goofy stance, in which case it controls the back of the board. Uh, and your right hand controls the back of the board. As I mentioned, you jump by doing this, you hold down the, the trigger button and drag across your body to initiate a spin. Um, to grab the board, you just hold down a, a grip button or both grip buttons Make sh while jumping. Make sure to let go of the board before you land, otherwise you're going to fail that trick. So, right, let's go. We can grind. He's behind me, so. And here comes a good jump opportunity. Jump! Spin the board once. I face planted into a rock. Not good, but it's okay. I wanted to let Gamertag get ahead of me so I could show you what the racing looks like. There he is, you can see what he is doing, where he is. I don't know if it shows you what tricks he does or doesn't do, but... Does show you where he is. Oh, he went to to that crevice. Okay, I see. And do a little jump. Do a little speed. go this way, we can go this way. Bye bye gamer tag. And 
jump. Rock. That's right. As you can tell, I kind of deliberately didn't do as good as I did that time, <laughs> so I could show you what it looks like. You can see the path that they take. I I don't think it shows you what tricks th 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 they do, but uh, maybe I just didn't see it. Maybe he wasn't doing any tricks. So um, that is the time attack. Is you. Um, have a goal of 2 minutes 40, then 2 minutes 20, 2 10, 150, and then you go to the next course. I haven't tried to the forest yet, so, you know what? Uh, let me show you freestyle on valley first, and then I'll show you the forest. We can explore that together. So. Freestyle, we're going to want to click a board that is better at freestyle, and we want it to be good at landing, and we want it to be good at handling. So, this one's horrible at freestyle, that's horrible at freestyle. That one's decent on all three. That's horrible. That's decent at freestyle and handling, landing, but not at handling. So, let's go with the Yeti Flex. All right, so press trigger to go. Ready, let's go. Now, see, that's how you do a a grab. I missed that grind opportunity. So I can come over here and grind on this if I don't overshoot it, which I did. And I think I can grind off of those, but I, I keep overshooting them every time I try, so... I'll just do a 180 spin. Sailfish. Nice. That's a new trick that I haven't done before. Got a little bit more momentum going on again. Yay. Ooh. 
And yeah, I'm not terribly good at the freestyle stuff. But that's how you do the freestyle stuff is you just go and you have a time limit and you try to get as many freestyle points as you can. Now let's see what forest looks like and then I'm gonna go through it once whether I do good or bad or just once and then this video yeah. is coming to an end and I'll let you know what I think. Let's I want something that's decent on hard and soft. It doesn't need to be good on freestyle. Okay, ready, go. Okay. For four control, your snowboard is tilt. Okay. Tilt, I'm... I'm guessing that would increase the speed if I have it tilted down more, maybe. It looks like. Stuck on the rock. Not gonna beat the 150. Not gonna beat that. But this is just to explore this. can't move on to rock caves, rock caves until I collect four medals in forest. And I think, but I'm not sure, that the medals don't have to all be time attack. It can be a combination of time attack and freestyle. So, because uh, I have three medals in valley, because I got to, to time attack, I got one. And almost two see and in freestyle it's, that's a little bit of a bad choice in the color there because it almost looks like it's not it's not activated but it is so uh, i got two medals here i did a grind for 10 meters and i did a, a front spin 360. so um 
So if I needed to unlock forest with a fourth metal, I could get it here or I could get it here. So now, what are my thoughts on this? Well, um, my thoughts are it's a fun game. It feels fairly realistic based on what I've seen of snowboarding. I've never actually gone snowboarding, but I know that from uh, from videos I've watched, if you want to do a spin, a 360, um, you have to take your hands and wind up here as you are approaching a jump area. Go up there, push up with your leg, jump, and twist forward like that at the same time in order to get the momentum to have your lower legs follow you. And then you do a spin. So, um, so the, the mechanism of to, to trigger in across the body, that's completely in line with that. And the, the other motions of steering, well, it could go only off of the head, but, but, but then that would be possibly dependent on where you are looking, you know, and be more like head gazing. This, this, this feels that's something natural because if you're on the board and the right way, you know, with your, your body pointed that way, and you no, know, your hands are naturally going to be like in this posture and as you turn your body you know your hands are going to follow naturally so there's a good control scheme there um there was one thing that i was thinking was was gonna uh that i thought could use improvement but i forget what it was now uh, um I will edit this part out if I need to, so that I, I don't have a long silence here. But, um... Oh, right. Um, a very, very minor thing. So this? I think I may have already mentioned it. It'd be nice if the dog chased it. Me? Not that big a deal. Um... It'd be nice if you could see the uh, conditions of the course so that you knew if it was mostly hard snow, mostly soft snow, so you knew which board was the best board. Because I would imagine when you go to a slope in real life, you're going to know the conditions of that course or of that slope. Uh, if you don't, you probably are not doing it right and you're not doing your research so um but yeah oh no i would say this is a good game is worth a buy if you were at all into this sort of stuff and um i am honestly i'm considering if I continue playing this game, I can. Uh, I am considering buying the balance board so that I can get even more of the the feel of being on a snowboard and get a little bit of a, uh, a core workout in the process. So, all right. So, um, thank you for watching. Have fun. Make sure to also beat gamer tag on this. To beat me if you want, I will try to beat you back.